Hello again. Uh, this time I want to talk about the uh, Zara's bevel tool and one of the things that uh, I find a bit lacking in it is it tends to um, not have enough highlights as far as I'm concerned. Uh, bevel tools in other applications seem to have better highlights than the Zara bevel tool uh, and uh, this is just a quick one to show you how to get around that. Okay. Yeah, well, I've already got some um, text that I've previously done. Um, if you go to the text tool, you can see that it's area all rounded and it's 100 points. Um, what I basically need is I need to um, make that bigger, that text bigger. So if I click the text tool, not bigger, but uh, what should I say, a bolder uh, would be the word. If I click inside the text and then a tip here if you hit escape you get this little um, dot round here that means the, the the whole of the text is selected and you click the bold and the bold if I click it backwards and forwards doesn't have a great effect on it but I'll leave it as bold we'll leave it at that but I still want my text to be bigger than that because I want it to be bigger than that I'm going to hit escape again and probably going to have to uh, hang on a minute. Gonna have to move this off screen a bit, move the screen a bit, so you can see what I'm doing now. Right there. Sorry about this um, buzzing in the microphone. Oh, I want to increase the um, the tracking. In other words, make create, uh, make the spacing between the text bigger and I, if I just click on this it'll go up 10, 10 at a time I think that's that's enough then so I'll move this back to where it was um, right so we've still got the text that's now got larger spacings between each letter um, what I'm going to do now because I can't make the text any bigger by bold or anything else so I'm going to clone it so we go control K uh, to clone it and I'll change the colour of that clone to um, this blue here I'll move it aside uh, for a second just so you can see that you've now got a clone a copy exactly on top of the other um, I'm going to make the fill colour none so you know you can't see it and I'm going to give it a line colour by right clicking on it of um, pale blue um, again I want to make that line colour a bit bigger Go to eight. Um, that's not that's not too bad at all. Um, okay, what tool we in here? Clean a bit. Yep. Um, I really need to open the uh, line gallery here a bit. I'll bring the line gallery in over here, and I really need to make those round joints and round cap. Sorry, uh, round joints and round cap. You can see that um, if I click undo, undo, you didn't have, you didn't, you, you, you had these mitre joins rather than the round joins. Okay, so that's what we've now we've got: round joints and round, round caps. I'm going to go arrange, convert line to shape. It doesn't seem to make a lot of difference, but when you move that across there, you can see that that is separate. I can then that's one shape down here, not a line anymore. I can then go drag select, arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. And I'll now turn that to uh, darky blue. You can see now that that's quite a, a bold text. Right now, let's get uh, finally on to adding a bevel to it. Um, I'll just slide the bevel in here. Again, move this across here. I want that. That looks better move that back sorry that that was um, a mitre join that put on before a rounded join and that um, join don't look good but that mitre join looks good move that back to there um, I'm going to change it from a flat to a rounded bevel um, and I can increase the contrast um, light elevation which doesn't work very well there at all. Um, 
probably the best as it was. But my not complaint uh, problem is that I like to see the text with a, a brighter white highlight. Okay, so how do we do that? What I'm going to do is Control K to Control, uh, make a clone copy of that. Um, going to go to the bevel tool, and I'm going to remove um, the bevel tool by putting it on, just to show that there. That's a different shape. I'll change that. Okay. Now I'll select that. I'll go into the contour tool. I love the contour tool. My favourite tool. Um, and I'm going to create a contour. Uh, I'm going to reduce that contour by about two pixels. It automatically defaults to an external one. I want to make it in any one. Sorry about that. Um, click on the inset path to make it an inset path. Slide that back there now. So you can now see you've got this. I'll change the colour. So you can see that you've got that shape. I'm going to control clone that. Often doing control clone all the time. Um, now let's change the colour and just slide this down, offset it to the down and right a bit. And then click shift select, and that's by holding down the shift key and clicking with the select. Sorry. White shape, two shapes, all right. Arrange, combine shapes, subtract shapes. Right there, I've now got what I want is a better highlight. Um, again, I'm gonna have to move this along a bit and bring in the feathering. I'll move that back again, and you can now see that I've added a A better highlight or a, a more of a highlight um, than I can actually do with the Zara's uh, own bevel tool. Um, so that's the end of that one, and uh, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much. Bye.